absolute favourite foundations. This video has been requested so much so I'm finally doing it and it's going to be sort of a mixture of high-end and drugstore foundations, mostly drugstore because that is what I tend to use on a daily basis and probably my favourite foundations are drugstore foundations anyway so most of them yeah, I'm going to be drugstore. <laughs> so if you want to see what are my favourite foundations, my absolute faves of all time, then keep on watching. So I'm going to start off with a foundation which I'm wearing at the moment. I wore it especially for this video. Well, I actually wear it in most of my videos anyway, but I wore it today just so you can see what it looks like on my skin. And I do have reviews on most of these foundations, which I'm going to be talking about anyway. So I'll try and link that down below for you guys. But anyway, the first foundation is the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation. And I do talk about this quite a bit because it is one of my absolute favorites. So hopefully you can see what it kind of looks like on my skin. It just gives the most sort of flawless silk finish, <laughs> illuminated, just very smooth finish. And it just looks really glowy, very healthy. It covers everything, all blemishes, all scars. You don't really need to use a concealer, it just always looks good. All skin types, it doesn't really matter if you're oily or dry, just on anyone. This is definitely a foundation to go for if you're unsure what foundation to buy. Next I have a foundation which I know is really popular and I originally bought it because of all of the YouTube reviews and all the big beauty gurus talking about it and saying how amazing it was and that is the famous L'Oreal True Match foundation. This one, I don't know if I should mention the colours really because they do tend to vary. Some of them I use in the summer, some of them I use now. So like for example this one is quite pale but this one is a little bit darker. I don't know, I might mention it in my blog. Anyway, so this is the famous True Match foundation and this is another really good all-rounder foundation for all skin types, for everyone medium to full coverage and this tends to be a little bit more matte so this is a little bit more long lasting but it's not as easy to work with as the Rimmel one but with this one if you want your foundation to last all day if you don't want it to move if you really want it to look flawless but not cakey and yeah if you just want a good all round foundation then definitely go with this one I would highly recommend it these two are probably the first sort of starter ups if you're unsure what foundation to buy if you're just starting out with makeup these two I would really, really recommend and they're just really easy, they're affordable and they're really good high quality foundations. Next I have a foundation from Chanel and this is obviously more expensive, more high end but it's also one of my absolute faves and if I had to choose probably one expensive foundation it would probably be this one for the summertime anyway because it is quite lightweight. So this is the Chanel Vita Lumia Aqua. So this is what it looks like. It actually comes in quite a cheap packaging, I think, because it's quite a plasticky bottle. It's not like a glass, expensive luxury bottle. So I don't know, but it's really good for traveling because of that. It's very lightweight. I would probably compare this to like a lightweight BB cream or tinted moisturizer because it is so lightweight. It's water-based and it's really easy to work with. I would probably use my fingers to apply this just because you really want it sort of to melt into your skin and be very sort of unnoticeable and it is definitely very luminous even though it is lightweight so it does even out the skin a little bit but you would still need a bit of conceal if your skin isn't perfect already so sort of all year round I would recommend it to people who have already quite good skin but for the summertime for anyone this is definitely a must. So for my other high-end foundation this is the Guerlain Lingerie de Peau foundation I don't know how to say it so I'm just gonna say it like that. <laughs> this is what it looks like. This definitely the packaging looks super luxurious. It's a very heavy glass bottle and I don't see a lot of YouTubers talk about this and I don't know why because it is an amazing foundation. I use it a lot on sort of my clients on weddings if I'm doing makeovers or just any sort of special occasion makeup. This is definitely the foundation to go for. Not only does it look beautiful but it looks beautiful on the skin as well. This is sort of like your medium medium easily buildable to full coverage foundation it's not matte at all so for that reason it just looks so glowy so healthy it just makes any skin look really good it does say that it's invisible skin fusion foundation and i definitely do agree with that it, it is invisible you don't see it on the skin even though it does cover amazingly next up i have the famous rimmel wake me up this is also a very big foundation on youtube a lot of beauty gurus have talked about this i do have a review on this as well if you want to hear me talk more about it because I absolutely love this. At the moment I'm not using it as much, I don't know why, I actually found it this morning and I was like I have to mention it in this video because it's one of my absolute favourites and I went through a phase where 
I would wear this every single day and I would always get comments on how amazing my skin looked because this, similar to the Guerlain foundation, if you want a cheaper alternative, well they're not really similar but similar look, similar sort of healthy glow look, then go with this. It just looks super glowy, very healthy, very radiant. Also perfect if you have dull, dry skin or if you're just not looking your best. This is your medium, even full coverage foundation. This covers absolutely everything, any blemishes, any scars. You don't need a separate concealer. Just put a few layers of this on and you'll be good to go. Now my final foundation is from Revlon. I don't really tend to use Revlon foundations apart from this one. This is also my holy grail, my absolute favourite and it's also quite a popular foundation. This is the Revlon colour stay makeup so this is the one for normal to dry skin I don't know where it says that oh yeah normal to dry skin and I used to use when I was younger when I used to have quite oily acne prone skin I would use the one which is for oily to combination which is great for oily skin this one is a little bit more fluid easier to work with so this is what I tend to use now and I would even recommend this for people with oily to combination anyway because it's not overly hydrating it's not overly glowy and it's just easier to work with so if you're unsure probably stick with this one this once again just evens everything out gives you a nice blank canvas to work on and covers absolutely everything if you do suffer with problematic skin and you want a good high quality foundation that isn't too expensive well it is probably one of the most expensive ones in the drugstore to be honest but it is worth it and you need a tiny tiny amount to cover your whole face a problem which everyone talks about is that it doesn't have a pump it's just like a unscrew bottle which is really annoying and i hope they do change the packaging and that is it thank you guys so much for watching i hope this video was interesting and useful for you guys let me know if you own any of these foundations and if you like them if you don't also what are your absolute favorite foundations in the world I would love to sort of find out new ones and maybe try new ones and see if they work for my skin or not so definitely let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you all next time bye